Alright, hey guys, so I hope everyone's day is going well. Now, you may or may not have noticed, I am in actually a different location. And so currently I am at college. I attend the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign, and I'm currently filming from a little, like, study room. So sorry if there's a little bit of an echo or the audio is just a little bit different. I'm just trying to like figure out the best spot to film these days and everything like that. Now I do have a couple of videos that have already been filmed and they were filmed back when I was at home. So if you see some future videos coming out of this channel that are from me when I was at home, just know that those videos were filmed maybe a couple weeks ago. I wanted to film a bunch of reviews before I actually left for college to make this transition a little bit smoother. However, I am filming this review right here at college because I just wanted to get this review done. So today, right here, I have the winglet from Zero Gravity Return Tops. This is a brand new yo-yo from a brand new company and I'm really excited to be reviewing it. Let's jump right in. Real quick, I wanna give a shout out to Zero Gravity Return Tops for making this video entirely possible and for sending me this yo-yo. Now, you may or may not have heard of Zero Gravity Return Tops and let's start by talking about the company as a whole. This is a brand new Canadian yo-yo company and the winglet right here is their first release ever. This company's goal is to create, you know, really high quality yo-yos that come at a fair and affordable price range. Now, I'm sure you guys are curious about the specs of this yo-yo right here, so I'm gonna put them on the screen right now. All right, so let's take a closer look at this thing. Now, when it comes to specs, this yo-yo is a little bit irregular. The diameter comes in at 56.9 millimeters, and that's a bit on the larger side. And in addition, the width is 44.4 millimeters, which is also on the larger side. The weight of this yo-yo at 63.6 grams is pretty middle of the road for yo-yos in this day and age, so this yo-yo is just like generally a larger yo-yo. Now this yo-yo is made of 6061 aluminum and goes for $39.99. By the way, I will be including links and everything like that in the description down below if you are interested in checking out more about this company and the yo-yo itself. Now I do want to take a second to talk about the goal of this yo-yo and its purpose. So according to Zero Gravity Return Tops, this yo-yo is actually inspired from planes, birds, and wings, and that's why it's called the winglet. So that's really, really pretty cool. Kind of focus on aerodynamicy and things like that. So I really like that kind of inspiration in a yo-yo. Now let's take a look around the yo-yo. First things first, the shape of this yo-yo is really pretty crazy. I mean, it is an incredibly extreme H shape with some really nice thick rims and then this crazy slope down to the bearing. It really just is a really strange shape. So just starting from the rims, we've got a couple little cuts that are really, really interesting and a couple little divots right there there. And that's really it before it just drops super steeply down to these really interesting walls. And as you can see, they look, there's this really steep slope down to the bear. And shapes like these are really pretty uncommon in this day and age, so it's pretty cool to see. I mean, just like look at that shape. Now in the hand, because of the shape, this yo-yo feels super, super comfortable. Your middle finger fits right into the gap and it's just a really comfortable feel. Now moving on over to the cup, we can get a look at the weight distribution. This yo-yo has a really nice and thick rim for the cup, which is great to see. That's gonna add a lot of rim weight to our play. From there, there's a little jump down to a few divots to a finger spin center. This divot in the middle is used for finger spins and later in the grind section of this video, I'll test out this yo's finger spin capabilities. Now there actually are engravings on this yo-yo, but they're a little bit hard to see. The engravings are actually on the shape of this yo, as you can see here. So it's a pretty interesting location for engravings. And it's also worth mentioning that around this yo, we've got a really smooth matte finish, which we love to see. All right, so how does this thing play? It's pretty good. This yo has a really nice ring and sound to it. So when this yo is on the string, it just feels super smooth and cool. It definitely has that really nice and solid, stable feel that many know and appreciate. And this is because of those thick, large rims on the yo-yo. Binds with this yo are also super smooth and grippy. I think the gap width of this yo is just perfect because like binds and regents are really, really solid. Now, when it comes to whether or not this yo plays more floaty or heavy, I'd say it just plays a bit more on the light and nimble side. You can definitely switch direction really quickly and it just feels lighter than the standard yo-yo. One thing I did notice was that when I really push this thing to the extremes though, it did run into a little bit of trouble in regards to spin time and stability. So for the most part, this yo could handle my tricks just fine. But when it came to the most like extreme tricks, it really kind of had some issues. Now the shape of this yo makes it super, super catchable, which makes landing a lot of tricks a lot easier. I found it really, really easy to you know catch the yo on the string with any more complex hops or lacerations. Now the shape of this yo does have one negative side effect, and it's almost a strange side effect that I've never ever seen before. I want to point back to the shape of this thing. If you follow the shape down to the bearing, you'll notice that the metal that comes before the bearing is almost completely horizontal, and by horizontal I mean parallel to the floor. So with most yo's, the metal before the bearing is more slanted and angular, but for this yo, the metal almost becomes perfectly horizontal. 
And as a result, when, when you land this yo-yo on the string, if you don't land it perfectly in the gap, the string will kind of hit the metal of the yo-yo and then slide into the bearing gap. So I'll give you guys some slow motion and close-ups so you can see exactly what's happening. And you can also hear this happening. You can hear the metal of the yo-yo hit the string and then hear the string slide into the bearing gap. And most of all, you can feel this, and it kind of is a bit annoying. If you don't land the yo perfectly with every string hit or hop, you'll just feel this like weird feeling. It's really not that big of a deal, but it kind of annoys me a bit when I'm playing with it. I wish the metal right near the center of the bearing was sloped down a bit and wasn't like almost perfectly horizontal as it is right now. Now, moving on to grinds, this yo is really exceptional. Finger grinds are just ridiculous with this thing. Like, because of this extreme H shape, Finger grinds really do last forever. You can just feel how little friction there is between your finger and the yo-yo. In addition, finger spins are also super, super good. Because of the few divots on the cup, even if you don't land the yo-yo perfectly on your finger, you can still kind of like slide into that locked in position. And once you are locked into a finger spin, it spins for a super long while, which can be really fun. All right, so conclusion time. This is a very solid first yo-yo from Zero Gravity Return Tops. The H shape is like super, super extreme, which makes the gap very catchable and easy to use. It definitely plays a little bit more on the light and nimble side, and its binds and regens are super nice. When I push this thing to the extremes, it did have some issues, but that was only when I was doing the most extreme of tricks. The shape does have that weird feeling where when you land on the string, it kind of has to center itself a little bit. So if you don't think that's gonna annoy you, this yo could be a great candidate, but personally for me, it annoys me quite a bit. This video also comes at a really nice and affordable price, so it's not gonna break the bank. All right, thank you guys all so much for watching my review of the Zero Gravity Return Tops Winglet. If you guys did enjoy the review, be sure to leave a like. And also if you guys are new here and haven't seen my videos before, hit that subscribe button. I post videos just about every single week. I hope you guys all have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you next time. Peace.